So it uh, looks like everybody is ready to go. So we will start with the code team and David. Take it away. Yes, hello guys. So we just had the code team meeting uh, before this and uh, we were talking about different kind of issues. And it seems like we are not, I wouldn't say not near to finalize the software, but there are bigger changes in uh, anonymity score calculation and in the music box as well. And I saw texts in the software, those are not, not correct. So we tested the software a lot. Uh, and the guys tested a lot, but we are still changing things in, inside the software. So that's, uh, we are still under doing the development. I think we are close to the final version, but it will really turn out when we will be able to finalize and test the final uh, product. And maybe then we will iterate or maybe not. What we have currently, the, let's say the bug space, it seems like all bugs seems to be solvable in a short period of time. But for example, the RPC is completely missing. So if somebody say, for example, no para or someone decides and the team getting consensus, yes, we will need the RPC as well, that will delay the, the release. And I think these kind of nuances will only be visible when we say, okay, this is the final software, test it. And I'm not talking about the UI because the UI is a different, is a different thing. Yes, that's my estimation. Is the RPC completely necessary for the release? My opinion is no, it is not necessary. Uh, just a note, right? The RPC server still works for most things. It's just that CoinJoin doesn't really work. Or, I guess, at least on Master Branch. I'm not sure about the package, but yeah, Master Branch works. Uh huh. Okay. Other, other than CoinJoin, again, I haven't done that, but loading a wallet uh, works. And uh, Lucas has this dump your, uh, dump your outputs, like dump coins uh, that you uh -huh. had across time, stuff like this uh, for the visual transaction graph. Uh, these all work, so it's not that it's broken. I, I just think there's no, you know, the 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 auto like the auto coin join. Yeah, uh, I see. Coin. Music box is it, missing. It, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's any other questions? When shall we announce the feature freeze? Uh, for the, okay. So. From uh, so, sorry, David, just, just sorry. Yeah, it's good you're saying the code team because as far as I know, the UI team already has a feature freeze, don't you then? Yeah, as in we haven't been putting in new requests for new stuff, but we've only been fixing or polishing existing stuff. Sorry, maybe I was confusing with the words. Feature freeze, I meant pull request freeze. Uh, so basically, we publish a release candidate um, and we test it, uh, and if that specific commit in Git is good, we publish that specific commit as the uh, as the final release. Is that what you mean? Well, yes, not not this strictly, but uh, when we see that everything is working and all the pull requests what we have in our mind is merged, then we will say, okay, here is a but we even don't need to release anything. You just use the master or test the master. And and when it is it is not uh, producing more issues and more pull requests, then we are at the final version. And in that case, we can start the testing. Or I I would do it in this way. And during the testing, another problems can come in. And if those are just typo changes or these kind of small changes then the testing can continue. You know the usual procedure, what we usually do. We are trying to finalize the software and, and test the final version. In, internally, of course, internally, we can, we can test the mainnet before we officially come out with the mainnet release. Yeah, that's a good point. Could, could maybe like at the end of this week, like you were saying, but once all those issues, are, maybe we could do like an internal main net release and everybody in the company is encouraged to try doing coin joins with their own stuff and you know if something major went wrong obviously because it's just within us we'd be able to sort it out and it, it might be, 
for me, it w- I think it would be a good idea to do something like that, right? It's too risky to do it, in my opinion. I wouldn't do it myself. To, to but it, it's releasing in- internally, not to the public, just re- a mainnet release, but to... Uh, to... Even then, if you are putting your money into an internal release, then other people might know how much you have. Because it's not going to be a big liquidity pool that we're putting our money into, in my opinion. David has a solution for this. Yes, we were thinking about that would be people from us, those are willing to spend time and test the software on mainnet. Those people would get some amount of money from the company and just to play with the wallet with that money. And at the end of the testing period, the remaining uh, will be sent back. So in that case, you are not risking your own funds, neither your own privacy, but you will be still be able to, for example, try to try to coin join, like, I don't know, $500 and see if, if you can reach the 100% anonymity set and, and these kind of things, right? If, if, this is, if that's not your money, then you will be more encouraged to, to do that. I really think we should do that and literally like almost everybody. Well, there's no reason why it shouldn't involve everybody, you know, everybody doing it, trying it on whatever computer they've got. So there's loads of different systems, operating systems, people who are not developers, people who are developers. It would be a really good test to have everybody on the same few days doing that. I like the idea. Okay. So then you are, what about the UI? Everything's fixed and merged, and then we're producing a build that we can say, like, for testing, like internal tests build. What we've done today is compiled the list of everything that we need to do to, so that by the end of the week, we're happy to um, do a release. So there's a list on the, the Slack channel, and between us, there's some others, and everybody's working pretty fast. Quite a few of them have already been. There's PRs open for many of them. The big things that we're working on is select and send from the coin coin list, the debug developer coin list. Um, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because it's just a developer feature. Last week we spent fixing a lot of things, nasty things like memory leaks, where it just used, your RAM gets used up after. That's all been fixed now. And some performance issues like the GPU being used up, that's also been fixed. Um, they're all merged into master now. So if you were suffering from those things like CPU and overheating and stuff, please try again from Master Now and also the memory leak one. Just one additional, the one critical crash uh, with a too small window size and the data grid. The, we will go with the temporary fix, uh, the workaround. There's an open PR to the tree data grid uh, and that will be merged and the Nougat packets consumed in Wasabi. Um, and later there will be a proper release but this the, the bug will be fixed soon yeah it, 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 it is a proper fix anyway it's just a software opinion on whether it's a workaround or a fix but we're not going to get steven to agree on it in a short time frame so we'll just go with the workaround for now yep which by the way i tested a while ago and it works well i could not reproduce the crash then so okay any questions then for the ui team Let's go with Norby, talk about all the things that are going on with the marketing side. Hello, everyone. Uh, the marketing team can be ready with everything. If you have more time, it's, it's much better because you don't have to hurry. So it's okay to delay this. I think that's all. Everything is okay. A lot of things uh, for the Wasabi boxes are, are uh, producing, so they are printing and, and so on. So. How's it going with the printing of all the stickers and the merch? Sorry, what was the question at the, the beginning? <laughs> the, the printing of the stickers, uh, is, yeah. is that already arranged on the way or? Yes. Cool. I mean, Max, if you know a designer who would be actually interested in creating uh, some new designs, uh, yeah, please forward them to me or something. I think we still need some more. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I guess that's everything from the marketing size side. Um, so now let's move on to the general topics and let's figure um, out what maybe we before want. that. Uh, one note on the research side uh, is Aviv has been doing some 
simulations and analysis of the actual privacy, I guess, principles of uh, Wabi Sabi coin joins. Um, and he's especially been trying to articulate a way uh, to quantify the quote unquote knapsack ambiguity or privacy level of a certain user. Uh, so a knapsack in the sense of kind of what's a rough number of possible subset transactions that could be in that this could be interpreted in. So this solves specifically that um, uh, so if you know your input sum, how many possible output groups could you have generated uh, in this coin join? Uh, and this this can be quantified uh, and used as kind of a, a multiplier uh, to get this knapsack ambiguity expressed in the Anon score. Um, I think it's quite interesting. Uh, it handles some edge cases really nicely uh, with, I think, a more accurate privacy score. Um, However, it is quite a fundamental change, as we previously deliberatively did not consider this subset ambiguity uh, and instead focus only on the traditional number of equal amount outputs. Um, so this is still something that might be an interesting way to improve some of the weird behavior we've been seeing, but it's quite a big change. So I'm not sure how, if, and when this could get uh, implemented and reviewed and, and merged and tested uh, before or after the release. Adam, do you have anything else from the research side? Yes, we make a small change to the anonymity set calculation and that fixes a lot of problems. Not with the anonymity set calculation, but with, with user experience and, and like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different things that you guys keep complaining about coin joins. Maybe a quick summary of what's the solution? Like what did you change? It's not not quick. <laughs> That's the problem. This this was the quick summary. <laughs> okay. But is this the, the weighted anonymity score consolidation? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, so so just let me try a quick summary. Previously, when you consolidate multiple inputs, uh, we have a penalty that the input sum has an anon score of the lowest uh, of, of those coins, sometimes even lower. Um, and this is changed now so that the punishment is no longer all the way to the lowest number, but it's instead a weighted average. Right? So if you have one coin worth a lot, uh, and it has a high anon score and one, one coin worth a little sats with a low anon score, your input sum would still have a relatively high anon score because the, the valuable coin has the higher anon score. Yes, that's related to a lot of things, which is why I was hesitant with Aviv's suggestion because maybe we don't even need it. Maybe the small improvement already fixed the concerns. Yep, but well done, Adam. I'm curious to see how it actually behaves on chain. Thank you. I guess a question for you, Adam. Like, do you, do you think that all these issues are sufficiently solved now to justify the release, or do you think that there needs to be more coin join research to be done? I think all the coin join related things are sufficiently fixed, with the exceptions of the user experience. Okay, that's encouraging to hear. Can I ask a few things that I have been wondering about the coin join stuff? Sure. Mm, so, if we get into a situation, like, for, first of all, so the client can choose how it actually breaks down its coins. Let's say that I have X amount of coins, and you, Adam, for example, you have X amount of coins. Let's say you got a get one Bitcoin output out of there. And like I get, let's say five, one Bitcoin outputs. Like it shows for you that you have probably like an on score three, which is actually incorrect if we are only the participants. And also it shows for me 
that it's only two, even though it could be much higher. Like, I didn't get it, sorry, to didn't follow. Uh, so, like, if I get five one Bitcoin outputs and you get one, what's the anonymity score of those coins? It's different for the two participants because they know, like the guy with four coins knows that four of them are from the same, from his wallet. So his mm -hmm. anon score would be one. Whereas the other guys thinks that there might be four non-wallet, there are four non-wallet uh, coins in the denomination group, so the Anon score should be four. Yes. Yes, exactly. Five. But, 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 yeah. but wouldn't that make it like the person who got the one output, he thinks that he actually got privacy, even though... Like, he did. Well, kind of, but so did the other well, guy. He did. Anyway, the, the other okay. guy didn't, because the other guy had like most of the coins in that level, right? Yeah, but no well, one it else depends, knows. It depends privacy against whom, right? The the other guy, uh, like the, the, the guy with four coins, he knows that this other guy is, is the only one with this denomination. So he can, uh, yeah, but he still doesn't know the input Sorry. value. Well, may I explain it in another way? Because I think the problem here is that you are thinking about anonymity sets, right? Mm, no, I think I'm... Thinking of anonymity scores, but yeah, go ahead, sure. So anonymity sets is a very good estimation for the beginning, but it doesn't give justice because if you would strictly take the anonymity set definition, then the anonymity sets would be like really huge, right? That my UTXO from today could be possibly a UTXO from 2018, it could come from that, right? So, so the anonymity sets, if we would calculate anonymity sets, then those would be huge, huge numbers, right? Like thousands, hundreds of thousands of anonymity sets. But that's not what we are calculating. What we are calculating is the strength of links between your initial inputs and your final coin joint UTXOs. And if you think about it in, in terms of probability rather than anonymity sets, then if I have one coin out of five equal coins, then the strength of the link to my input would be one per five, right? And turn it around, I have four coins and out of five equal coins, then the strength of the link between my input and my four coins would be four per five. Okay. I mean, in my opinion, it's kind of a weird way to calculate it but I don't have a better solution. I really am well, not why, that fond of Abir's suggestion. Why is the tweet compared to that? I mean, like, <clears throat> what's the actual, like, the scores? How do they end up looking like? In my opinion, it's kind of the other way around. Like, let's say the same example. I get five one Bitcoin outputs, you get one. Like, whatever the score is, it's, like, it's going to probably be higher for you who got one output than for me who got four outputs. I yes. understand the logic. Yes, like I understand the logic of that too, but in my opinion, it should be the other way around. You know, since I own all the other outputs in that same denomination, it should be that you have a little privacy. Yeah, It, it depends like on who's viewpoint you take like if you consider the information of the user as valid or if you look at outsider's perspective we currently are looking at like as the wallet user's perspective we we analyze the coin joins with the information that the wallet has even though it could be analyzed by like how outsiders see it 
that, that's exactly how outsiders see it. If I am four out of five, then I have less privacy than if I would be one out of five from an outsider's perspective as well. The, you asked the question, you pick a UTXO, what are the chances that that's coming from another an input, a specific input? What is the likelihood of that? That's, that's the basic question that we are asking here. I, so, okay, I um, understand what your, your intuition is that mm. if, if I am four and you are only one, then you don't have that much privacy against me than if everyone would be a different user, right? Yes, exactly. But okay, I just, yeah, if you think it's not a problem, I'm okay. So, I, I mean, okay, let's, let, let's go through this very quickly. Let's not waste too much time, but, but very quickly. It's, uh, the first problem is what should be the algorithm? So, so how much should be the anonymity set of, of the guy one? And let's assume we figured that algorithm out. We still have the problem is that we don't know who are those five people. It's in, impossible to know, right? We, we have no idea if it's one person has four or five person has one, right? It's, it's impossible to tell. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's why I would say that all these coins should just have like the anon score of two. No matter if I get four outputs and you get one, both of them should just have the like, or like an set uh, of two. Like there is at least another participant. We cannot know if there's more, but that's like the minimum. So no matter how many, how many equal outputs there are, the anonymity set is always two. I mean, that's the most conservative like minimum, but I think there should be like some multiple multiplication be, uh, like depending on the other denominations you, you see the problem here right yes the unknown score doesn't rise too much but then again like it mitigates mitigates this issue like what my problem is that like i said in the beginning the client can choose the output amounts himself it's very likely that people will start picking some certain output amounts no matter what the standard denominations are, they're going to be like using those. And I don't know, we, it's, it's pretty bad if we get into a situation where there is like, let's say, 10 same size outputs, but nine of them belong to the same person. And only one is actually an outsider. So how would you know that that's the case? If, even if you're not a care, you might create a bunch of equal outputs, but other people will also do that. You cannot isolate a single person and, and civil it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like that big of an attack vector, but still something that sounds concerning to me. But Rafa, this issue still exists even in uh, Wasabi 1, for example. If you are the only participant, if there are only two participants in a coin join, and let's say all the other participants are from the same entity, you still have the same issue. And But how could you solve this? You never know. It's nope. solved or mitigated in a sense that it's very expensive to do CBL, right? Yeah, sure. But I'm more talking about the anonymity score here. But yeah, that makes sense. But my point is, you can never know. I mean, you can always say, hey, at least we have two unknown set, but like this really doesn't work. Yeah, I know what you mean. But in 1.0, it's a little bit different because everyone goes with the same standard denomination. Like now we're actually having multiple denominations, so each one has uh, like less of a like standard or like the equal amount of output uh, anonymous set. But it's harder for that to care because it doesn't even yeah. know what, what equal amount anyway. should he generate, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least for now, like that's what I'm interested to see. Like if there comes out some kind of like pattern or some certain denominations. 
that come out really often or very uh, not often. But anyway. We'll meet back up next week on Monday. And then uh, I guess everybody's on board with the idea of doing a mainnet test internally within the company using uh, company coins. Is that correct? The company what? Is that new shit coin? <laughs> we call it a wasabi token. Yeah, have you not heard about it yet? Will it pump? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm busy laughing and coughing at the same time. So, yeah. So, I guess this is a consensus on all of this stuff. And then we will check back in next week at the same meeting to make sure that this is all on track. Is there anything else to bring up? Okay. I guess that's it for the 2.0 meeting. See you on the next one.